Hello sewing people of the internet. This video is an excerpt from my backpack tutorial series uh, where I showed how to make a backpack like this one. And if you want to check out that tutorial if you haven't seen it, I'll put links in the uh, description below. During that tutorial, uh, I talked a little bit about seam allowance and I thought that uh, that was a good subject that I didn't necessarily want to just keep buried within this large tutorial that a lot of people may not watch if they don't have a specific interest in making a backpack, but it might be helpful to other people. So. Uh, I thought I'd just pull that out and put it in a separate video. In my discussion about seam allowance here, I'm mostly talking about making things like backpacks and duffel bags and messenger bags. It might not be exactly the same if you're making clothing, for example. I don't really make clothing, so I don't know. Uh, but I think that should apply pretty universally. But if you have a different opinion, make sure you make a comment down below. Tell me where I'm wrong. Tell me uh, if you know some better ideas. Anyway, with that said, here's three reasons why I think seam allowance is important. So the seam allowance is the material that is outside of the stitch line, the excess material that's left over. If you're used to working with other materials uh, that you could maybe fasten with glue or nails or welding, then you may not be accustomed to having an amount of material left over outside of the joint. But with fabric, it's necessary to have some extra material. There are three reasons why I think observing seam allowance is important. One is dimension. For example, for this backpack project, I've specified a half inch seam allowance for all of the panels. If you sew less than a half inch or more than a half inch, then the dimensions for the project aren't gonna come out exactly right. Now, for something like a backpack, that's not terribly important, but if you're trying to make something fit a specific object, it could mean the difference between it fitting or not fitting. Another reason seam allowance is important is for the structure of what you're making. So as an example, I've sewn two pieces of 1680 denier ballistic nylon, one of the toughest fabrics I have, together with the same size 69 nylon thread that I'm using for this project, and I've sewn it as close to the edge as possible, so like no seam allowance at all. I sewed these two pieces of 1680 denier with the same thread, but with a half inch seam allowance. <coughs> yeah, it's not going anywhere. The third reason why observing the proper seam allowance is important is for the cosmetics of your project. So here I'm simulating sewing two pieces together that have been uh, stitched in previous operations and on this piece I failed to observe the proper seam allowance and sewed too far in so that when the project is turned out and finished you'll see this ugly wavy stitch line showing. That's not what we're looking for. You can avoid that by making sure you don't exceed the seam allowance when you're sewing assemblies together uh, and make sure that you don't take too little seam allowance on your final stitches. On this backpack project, I'm using a half inch seam allowance, so that means when I'm sewing assemblies like this pocket assembly together, I need to keep the stitches where I've joined these assemblies together in that seam allowance, so less than half an inch away from the edge. So when I sew a half inch seam allowance, those stitches will remain concealed within the seam allowance. I can use any method I need to to permanently or temporarily attach multiple pieces into assemblies by using staples or glue or stitches. As long as I keep them in the seam allowance, you won't see them. If I need to mark the center point by cutting a notch in this, which we'll be doing later, as long as I keep it within the seam allowance, you won't see it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and if you want to see more informative sewing videos, make sure to subscribe. Also, take a look at the Teespring shelf below this video where you can help support my efforts by picking up some cool swag. Thanks for watching.